What's going on guys? T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of Super Koopa Sunday. We have got an interesting episode for you guys. So Chelsea and I just got back from downtown Disney or Disney Springs as it's now called. And we pulled in the driveway. I got out of the truck and nearly had a heart attack because there was an animal down on the ground right where I was stepping and I had no clue what it was for a second. It turns out that there's a red husky puppy that was in our driveway. It's a female husky puppy. She's pretty young. She's not a tiny puppy, but she's still a puppy. And if you guys can see, I mean, she's the sweetest thing in the world. She's so sweet. She obviously knows people. Yeah. But her feet, if you see her feet, they're all red and kind of beat up. Like, she doesn't look like her paws are in very good shape. So it's pretty late right now. It's like 1.30 in the morning. So what we've got is we've got some water and some kibble right here. And we are going to give this to her because she's probably pretty hungry. Come here, hey, come here. Come, here. come here. Some water and some food. And our plan is to just let her hang out in the garage by herself. We haven't introduced her to Cooper or anything yet. Cooper's obviously very excited to say hi. But... We plan on keeping her until the morning, and then in the morning we're going to take her to the vet, and hopefully she's okay, as well as check for a chip to see if she has some owners. So, we'll see what happens, but she's beautiful. Hey baby, come here. You should eat. You don't look like you've eaten in a while. My only concern, she doesn't look like she's been abused. I don't see any signs of abuse, really. Her feet are a little bit torn up. I'm not sure why she's scratching the water bowl, but she does look a little skinny. I know huskies are skinny overall, it's their hair that kind of make up for their body size, but I think that's a little bit too skinny. Come here, baby. Come here. Good girl. Do you like the camera too, just like Cooper? <laughs> what are you doing? So, Chelsea just brought up a good point, that if she was abused, she would probably be pretty scared of people because that's all she would know if she wasn't well taken care of up until this point in her life. So the fact that the fact that she knows people and is so excited to see people. <laughs> Come here. Good girl. The fact that she's that kind with people probably means that she has some good owners. We were thinking maybe leave her out in the garage, but it's a little hot, especially for a husky. So we have a little uh kennel back here an extra kennel we're gonna bring this in put it in the guest room and bring her inside so she has some ac so we're gonna go set that up right now koopy what is it what's happening oh. was she opening the door she did, yes she's so smart cooper what's on the other side of the door do you have any idea you're just so excited for a new friend Unfortunately, we don't know if she has anything or if she's hurt or anything like that, buddy. So we can't, she can't be your friend yet. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, when she gets the clean bill of health, you can have a friend. Oh, he just wants a new friend so bad. <sighs> and she's breaking my heart because she just loves people so much. So we set up, Coda always sleeps in this kennel right here. We don't like kenneling him up, but if not, he kind of pees all over everything. So we usually put him in the kennel. He likes his kennel though. That's kind of like his safe spot. That's the way we've always taught him. So Coda always sleeps here. Cooper sleeps upstairs with us. I would really like to somehow get her upstairs, but that wouldn't fly with Cooper. So I think, I think we're gonna set her up in here with the door closed so Coda can't really see her. He won't really know what's going on. And hopefully she's okay. We've got a couple of towels down for her so she's comfy. And that's kind of our plan for now. It's, uh, I don't know, like I said, it's like two o'clock in the morning right now, so it's gonna be a, uh, a long night, and then we're gonna try to take her to the vet in the morning. My one concern is she's not really eating, which I know she has to have been out for a while. Come here, hey, you should eat. That's gonna help you out. You need some energy. I don't know if she just doesn't eat this kind of dog food or what, but she's not interested in the food at all. Looks like she's pretty much drained her water, so we can go get her some more water. But yeah, you guys can see, I mean, everything from her nose, her paws, everything is just kind of, kind of a little bit tattered, a little bit beat up, but she's still so happy. Look at that big old husky 
fluffy tail waving. Our newest house guest is going to need a really fun, exciting toy to, to bring her through the night here. I remember the first night I brought Cooper home and he just really wanted his toys. He had a little colored, colored rope as well as Olaf. If some of you guys remember those videos. Here, give her a new one. A new one? Well, a brand new toy? Yeah, you that's right. Give the boys their toys. What do you think? There's a Sherlock. I think she would like an octopus. Okay, that seems like a girl's toy. A pink and purple octopus is what we're going to be giving her. Okay. No, no need to cry. We'll see you in the morning. Get down. She knows down. Yes, yeah, she does. That's the third time she's done it right away. Down. You're a good girl. Mama misses you. We'll find your mom and dad in the morning, okay? Down. Just to update you guys, she's crying and it's absolutely breaking our hearts. It's not breaking Cooper's heart, <laughs> but it's breaking our hearts. It's seriously, it's really, really sad. Like Cooper joking aside. Um, Chelsea just called our normal vet that we take Cooper and Coda to because we're pretty close with them. So she left a message for them. They'll call us back in the morning, hopefully and give us a time that we can bring her in. Uh, Chelsea also, our neighborhood kind of has like a Facebook page that a lot of people look at uh, and kind of keep up to date with the neighborhood on. So we posted on that that we found a new, or we, that we found a husky puppy that was obviously stray and we'll see if anything comes out of that. But our goal is to get her healthy and get her back to her home. So for now we're going to try to go to bed. Cooper's going to try to relax because he's just so excited about this whole ordeal. I don't think he realized the magnitude of the situation. <laughs> He just sees it as a new friend in the house. So uh, we'll see you guys in the morning and to update you guys with what happens. A husky puppy last night whose her feet and things are pretty torn up so I think she's been running around on the hot pavement. And I was just wondering if there was a time that we could bring her in to just get her checked out until we can find who she belongs to. All right, so that was Chelsea talking to our vet. And what'd they say? Um, he's coming back from a conference, so 4.30. Yeah, so he's down in Miami, so he's driving back. 4.30 is the earliest that we can get her in, which I wish we could do a little bit sooner. Hi, baby. I was really expecting her to be out. Good girl. Do we have any accidents? You can't smell it. Just knock down. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's okay. She ended up bending the cage. The kennel's, the kennel's bent. Oh, and she's free. Ooh. Come here, puppy. Let's go outside. Come here. Come here. Come, come here. here. <laughs> she's so cute. Come here, puppy. Come here. She's so excited. Come here, puppy. Okay, let's go outside. Come here, this way. on the leash, but she knows it. <laughs> She's so hype. We're gonna take her on a little walk to help get some of this energy out. It's a shame that Pokemon Go servers are down. Ugh, they've been down all morning. Do you want some water? Yeah. Are you hungry yet? You wouldn't eat last night, will you eat now? No? Do you just not like that food? No? It's just not for you? Oh, you want a donut? I feel you, girl. Some mornings I'm the same way. She's on the phone with the Humane Society right now. And then we also just posted this on Facebook. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna be able to find her owners. We're gonna try giving her a cookie. A triple cheese baseball treat. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Cookie. Are you interested in that? She's more interested in her hot dog bun, her hamburger bun. Can you say it? No. You don't know that one yet? Do you want the cookie? Hey. <laughs> she takes it so nicely. Is that Coda? <laughs> I feel bad oh, she wants he just tried to smack her. 
Did you see that? <laughs> oh, Alright guys, so instead of leaving her in the kennel all day because we felt kind of bad and she was crying and stuff, I think what we're going to do is we are going to take her up to Chelsea's office and just kind of shut the door uh, and then the boys can roam the house and she'll just be up in the office. Hey, come here. Let's go up the stairs. Come on. Do you know stairs? I don't think so. Come on. Here, come here. Come on. Let's go up the stairs. Alright, up the stairs we go. Couple hours left until we can take her to the vet, but she's gonna be hanging out with Chelsea in her office for now. We just found out that this door doesn't actually latch. It opens and closes like that. There's somebody on the other side that keeps trying to push it open. <laughs> what are you doing, Coop? Hi, baby. Are you hanging out with Chelsea in her office? Guys, we have some good news. It's good news and bad news. We'll find out, but Chelsea thinks that she may have found the parents. Hey baby, did we find your parents? Come here. Oh, she's so timid and so sweet. Are you a good girl? What happened? But yeah, so we found uh, a listing that lists for a kind of brownish red and white husky and she went missing yesterday according to this posting and it's relatively near us. So we think that this is probably it. And I think we're going to give him a call. Hi, my name is Chelsea Greener. I'm calling because I saw that you had posted on podboost.com that you were missing your female husky. And I think that I may have her. So if you could call me back and... Well, they didn't answer their phone, so we'll keep you guys updated. You were a cute little munchkin. We're going to miss you. We had fun. She was actually really good last night. She was howling a little bit as you guys heard, but uh, overall she was pretty good and she's been really, really good all day. The only thing is, is if you leave her, she cries. Like she really, really, really wants to be around people. Um, the second that Chelsea left the office to come downstairs to talk to me, she was telling the Pokemon Go servers were back up. Um, you could hear her crying, which makes me, makes me sad. She's just such a lover. But uh, hopefully we found the parents. As much as I like her and would have liked to keep her around potentially, I know somebody else is probably really, really sad. We want to make sure she gets back to them. Okay. You have that evil grin on your face. I want you to sit down because I'm, I want to tell you this before her dad does. You have an evil grin. No, you need to sit down. Okay, so we were just on the phone with her parents. It is her parents. He pointed out an extra toe on her back leg as well as he told us that the reason why her face and stuff is all red is she has an allergy. Which makes sense because it's not like she's really babying her wounds. So I don't think they're really wounds. It's just an allergy. But she has an evil look on her face. So. Well, because this guy's going to want the answer. He says he doesn't have a lot of cash to repay us. But he really, really wants to make sure that we're rewarded. And if we're interested. Her sister is pregnant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so cute and so nice. And if we wouldn't have found her parents, I don't think I could have taken her somewhere. I was trying to make a plan about it. Like I was trying to talk to Chelsea earlier. I was like, if we can't find her parents, like obviously we're going to spend the next couple of weeks trying to find out who she belongs to. But if we couldn't find them, what was our plan going to be? Because I don't... I don't want to take her to just like a humane society. I was thinking like maybe if we could find like a husky rescue or yeah, something. It's too nice to sit in a cow. But I just, I don't know if I would have been able to do that because she is such a sweetie. And as I've mentioned before, I've always been in love with huskies. I think they're fantastic, fantastic dogs. I just don't, I don't think we need another dog. I'm just letting you know that that was the... So he's insinuating a free puppy? Or a, a vastly he's reduced price. that we took a free, pup, a free husky puppy because we rescued him. Oh. Uh, uh, that's why I was awkwardly like, that's actually something we've talked about. So let me talk uh, about it. Comment down below what you guys think. <laughs> but it's time to go take this girl back home. You want to go for a ride? Alright guys, so since this is Super Cooper Sunday after all, and he's been kind of the co-star so far today, we wanted to introduce these two and see if they could, could play a little bit, see what Koopy thinks. I mean, if we potentially have a husky brother or sister for you, we want to make sure that you can get along with huskies. I'm sure you can. You love everybody. Look at Coda over there. Sorry, buddy. 
You're just not really gentle enough with smaller dogs. If it was our dog and they were big and going to her, it would be different, but since she's not ours, I'm not gonna. Oh, good boy, Koopy. Oh. <laughs> Hey, hey. Good girl, Maya. His tail's wagging. He just wants to go say hi. Koda. Look at Koda. He likes Koda. He's <laughs> it's butt sniffing time. Come on. Hi, nice to meet you. Let me sniff your butt. Kobe just wants to play. Come on. Kobe wants to play so bad. Good boy, Kobe. <laughs> No, she's wrestling with him. She can keep up with him. She's fierce. She's a wolf. Hey, Maya. 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 <laughs> See, this would be our life. We already get enough of it with Cooper and Coda, but this would be our life. We need a girl in this house, Maya. Keep them boys in line, right? Cooper is used to being so quick with this big old lethargic fuzzball. He can't really, it, I, if he's kind of confused as to how this, this new one is so much quicker. She was a fun little addition to the family for all of 14 hours. We had a wolf pack. Yeah. She's trying to steal Coop's watermelon as we're walking out the door. Look at this. Girl, that is not acceptable. Cooper, you gotta go tell her. That is my watermelon. Oh, she's defending it now, huh? Come on, we're going for a ride, let's go. And you go, Maya. Come, Come on. on. Let's hey, go. let's go for a ride. Let's go. You get up there. Go for a ride. Let's go. Come on. No. Oh, we got her. Good girl. She's scared of the car. That's a good Poor girl. girl. It's okay. Don't run away. You don't have to drive in a scary car. <laughs> okay, so I feel pretty good about this. I was worried that, I don't know. I mean, he sounds really concerned about her on the phone as well as overall, this is a fairly nice neighborhood. So I was worried about bringing her back to a situation where she wouldn't thrive, but I think she's gonna be all right. Oh, girl. I'm so sad. <laughs> she was so sweet. We just met the owners, they were super nice. All three of their dogs were super sweet. Yeah, and really, I mean, they were, you could tell they were well trained. They were all off leash and having a husky off leash is something that's not easy to do. Yeah, because they're no, so you independent. Know they spend time with them. It was a happy ending. I don't know. I would have liked to keep her. Yeah. But it was a happy well, ending. I'm glad she got back where she belonged. Now that we know that he said on the phone that they kept her because she had all the skin allergies, so they didn't give her to anybody else. Right. I don't think I, we've already got one of those. Yeah. Yeah, Coda's already enough yeah. trouble. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Super Cooper Sunday. I realized Cooper was. He's kind of a co-star in this one, so hopefully you guys are alright with that. We'll be back in uh, in full force next week. I know we've been kind of inconsistent the last couple of weeks. A lot of people were really concerned that we were stopping the series. It's not stopping. We're, I, I honestly, at first when I started the series, I was thinking it would be kind of through puppyhood and then end after puppyhood. But I see it going all the way through his entire life, honestly. Because there's always something fun we can do with him. And uh, we're both really big dog people, and you guys are too. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Peace out.